In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can stop overscheduling your days with tasks that just don't matter and instead create a realistic daily plan where everything gets done and you feel like an absolute winner at the end of the day. Hey, my name's Ev and I create YouTube videos to help you build your personal knowledge systems so you can turn your personal knowledge into powerful ideas. Now, I've been notorious for creating unrealistic and undoable daily plans. I would try and stuff as much as I could into every day and then feel bad at the end of the day because more than half of it wasn't done. It wasn't that I was unproductive, I was just really unrealistic about what I could get done in a single day. Which is why when I saw Sun Sama's daily planning routine one day, it really caught my eye. It's simple, it walks you through each step of the process and you walk away with a plan you can actually get done. Which means you feel like a winner at the end of each day. And of course, because I used Tana, I knew immediately I was going to try and recreate this same process using my own system. In today's video, I wanna show you my four step daily planning process inspired by Sun Sama, how I plan my day in five minutes or less using the same process and how you can set up the same process for yourself. All right, welcome to my day page. This is what it looks like whenever I log in any morning. Um, and I do plan my day every morning. Uh, I know people say you should plan the night before. I'm just not disciplined enough for that. So we plan in the morning in my day page. So I can open this up and it's got all four of these components, um, which is kind of the, the routine that I go through. And really this takes me about five minutes. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I do this, the actual process, and then we'll dive into each of the different components. I'll show you what they look like, how to get them set up. First things first is I uh, look at what is left over from yesterday, okay? So inevitably any day, there's gonna be stuff that gets left over that I didn't get done. And so rather than that kind of getting lost, I always bring it up before I plan the day so I can bring it forward. So if I open this up and all of these, if you have a look at just searches, and I'll show you exactly what these searches look like, um, but they're basically searches that search for certain things that I need in that particular step, okay? So this search is looking for anything that has a due date of, of less than today. So you can see there's a couple of things that I have not done yesterday that I needed to do today. And so what I do, and I've got a whole heap of commands and I'm gonna, at the end of this video, show you what these commands are and how to set them up. So in the past, I would have had to open up each of these and find the event time and change it to today. And that is all way too much clicking. So now all I do is I have a button that is this T button and that says I wanna get it done today. Okay, so I can just click this and click this. And what that does is if I open up this and look at event time, that has changed it to today. So step number two is what I actually want to get done today. So if we open up this list, it's basically a list of all of the tasks that I have said that I need to get done this week. And I do that as part of my weekly planning. In my weekly planning, I look through all my projects and I say, okay, these are the tasks I need to get done this week. And they go into a list called up next, which is what we're seeing here. Now, this is kind of a long list. So what I do is is I will often come up here to view options and go to filter and then I'll filter by project so I can kind of see which projects I want to work on. So I know this uh, week I'm working on my uh, ton of fast track and also content. They're kind of my two big projects. So that kind of makes the list a little bit smaller. So I'll go through this and I'll say, okay, yep, I want to do this task today. So the T is for today, moves it to today. Um, I need to uh, edit or I need to draft this video. Okay, I need to edit this video and then I need to finish this script. So then I can just press clean up. And so there's a whole heap of stuff that will still be there tomorrow, but I've chosen the ones that I wanna to do today. So step number three is kind of a sanity check. So I look at this and I say, what can wait? So inevitably what happens is when I open up this uh, step, there's just way too many things that I can get done in a single day. This is just a little step to say to me, okay, what can wait? What can I put off till tomorrow um, that isn't important that I get done today? You know, really what we want to be working on every day is things that are super important. So I will go through this list and remove things. And again, I make this really easy through a button. Okay, so this X button removes the scheduled date. Okay, so it puts it back into the up next list um, so that I can choose it again tomorrow. So I might go through each of these and say, okay, so um, I... Uh, I won't be able to do this one, so we'll we'll move it away. And then you can click this little clean up button that removes it from the list. Um, oh, this is actually not something I need to do. 
Okay, um, and I'm not going to get around to this edit. All right, so that means that now I've got a little bit more of a realistic plan. So this fourth step is finalizing the plan. Um, and so within this, it's we're, we're really looking at the same things. We're looking at all the tasks we have to do today. But what we're saying is in this particular view, we want to get these into a time block and get them into a schedule that we can actually then go and use. And so um, I found the best way for me to time block my day is not actually through uh, timings as in, you know, I'm going to do this at 10 a.m. and then I'm going to do this other thing is at 11.30. I found that I just break down my day into four different sections. So I've got first thing, morning, afternoon and evening. And uh, I find that is just a little bit more flexible for me. And I don't feel so locked in to the calendar and times. And then I've got to work out how long is everything going to take. I can kind of keep a more looser plan. So this works for me. Once something is scheduled for the day, I get these extra buttons. This sets my time block to first thing, sets the time block to morning, sets the time block to afternoon, to evening, and then is a quick task I can do at any time during the day. Uh, I just basically go through this and I just move them to a section. So um, this one here is a quick task. Oops. Um, this one I'm gonna do in the afternoon. I know I've got a time block set for that. This video I need to do in the morning. Uh, this one here I need to do in the morning and this I'll do in the morning as well. Anything that doesn't have a time block kind of comes up here and I can move it in. Um, and the rest, I just use those little buttons to go, yep, okay, first thing. Um, this is everything I have to do in the morning. I also have a Cairo appointment. So then I think, mm, will I be able to draft a, a two scripts in the morning as well as go to a Cairo appointment? Maybe not. So then I might say, well, I might actually move that to the evening. Um, oops, uh, evening is here. Um, and so now I feel like I've got more of a realistic plan for my day. Um, and that's it. I close that up. I close up this, I tick it off and say, yes, I plan the day. And so then I've got my agenda down the bottom here, which I usually just command click and I open it up in the sidebar so that I can kind of see that throughout the day and work through it. And the reason this takes less than five minutes is because I have created these searches that brings in each thing that I need uh, to walk me through the process. Okay, so let's have a look at these searches and then I'm gonna show you a couple of the commands that I was using uh, that you can set up. If we open up each of these searches, what it's looking for, and if we click the search button and open it up, we're looking for the super tag of task. The next part of the search is this here, which is an LT or a less than value, okay? So how this gets set up is you would create a field, type LT, okay? Then you want to put a field in here. So we're looking for the field event time. And then what we want is for it to find anything that is less than whatever today's date is. Okay, so that's basically what this LT is doing. And then we're simply looking for anything that's not done. And that is the whole search for this first one. What is left over from yesterday? The second search that we're looking at is this one here. What do we actually want to get done today? And in this search, we are looking for a couple of different things. Okay, we're looking for again, tasks. Okay, anything tagged with task. We're looking for the task status of up next. Okay, so in my tasks, I have a status called task status um, and there's it's either parked, so it's not ready to be done. It's up next, it's in my current week list. It's done or it's canceled. Then we're looking for the event it, when the event time is not set. So we only want things to show up in this list if we haven't added them to a date yet. So they're basically ready to go, but not scheduled. And then we're looking for anything that's not done. So in this third search, we're searching for everything that we need to do today. So if we have a look at the search, uh, we're looking for anything that has an event type of grandparent that is not done. The reason that we're, we're searching for grandparent here and not parent is that when we search for grandparent, so we're here. Okay, if we were searching for parent, we will be searching for the next level up, which would be plan the day. But because we're searching for grandparent, we're looking for the next level up, which is the actual day. Okay, so you'll notice immediately here, we're not looking for tasks only. Um, we're actually not looking for any super tags. And that's because 
what I want to happen is to bring anything that has a field of event type today into this search, not just tasks. So I, so that might be events and meetings that come up. It also might be different content that I'm uh, publishing today. And so everything comes into this one view to give me context and to make sure that things don't come up that I'm maybe not aware of when I've kind of planned the day. And so then the fourth part is finalizing the plan. So in this one, we're actually searching for exactly the same thing, event type of grandparent and not done. But in this particular search, how I've set it up is I've set it up to group by time block. Whereas in the what can wait search, I'm just searching for a big old list of things. In this one, I want to see the time block and be able to block those things out. And this works best for my brain and how my brain works because I can work in stages. So those are the four different searches and the steps uh, to be able to plan your day. And once you get these set up, they are on your day page every single morning waiting for you. So it feels like a big setup at first, but then every day it just works. Okay, so I promised you I'd show you some of the command buttons to make this so easy. I don't know about you, but sometimes changing fields can be a real nightmare. You know, having to open up each node, having to, you know, find something, change it around. It just takes so long. And so buttons really help me to do this stuff really, really quickly. So one of the main buttons that I have is the today button. So if I have a look at this, first things first is there is a node filter on this command button. And so node filters are really just a way that you can uh, either show or hide a button. And so they're really helpful so that you don't end up with a whole lot of buttons on a super tag that you don't need to see at a specific time. Basically what we're looking for is we're looking for uh, the event time is not today. And then we're also looking for not a task status of done. Okay, so anything that's not done and that is not today, the today button is going to show up. Then uh, this is the first command. We're gonna set a field value. What we're basically setting is the field task status we want to move to up next. So that means that it's in my up next list. And then the second command here is insert relative date. So if I open this up, we've got the relative date string. We want it to be today. Uh, we want the date time granularity to be day. Okay, so we don't need it to be minute. Um, other ones of these are like weeks, months, years, that kind of thing. We want it to be the day. And then we want the target node to be event time. Okay, so if I look in my, my tasks, I've got event time, that's the field. Okay, and we want that to be in here. And so whenever I press the T button, I know that uh, that event time is going to be changed to today. All right, so the second button that I have comes up with what can wait, okay? And that removes the actual um, scheduled time of this task. What we're saying here is we only want this to show up if the event time is set. So if there's something in the event time field and if, this, if the, the task status is not done, okay? So that's kind of what we're looking at here. And then all that we're doing here is set field values. Okay, so this is our command. If we open this up, we have the event time and there's nothing in here, but we want it to be, you know, nothing in that. And then the time block also, um, we want that to be set to nothing as well. Okay, so if I, uh, if I decide not to do something, so if I decide not to do this today, I can click that and we will see that the event time is now, uh, there's nothing in it. Um, and the time block has nothing in it either. All right, so then the last lot of buttons is my time block buttons. And I really, really love these buttons. Now, this is not the only way that you could time block, right? So you could say, instead of having a list like this, you could say, well, I wanna view this as cards. Um, and you could move your cards around, totally legitimate. I just like to use my buttons. So um, if I come back here, um, you can see each of these buttons. I'm just going to show you one, but they all work exactly the same. So this is the first thing, right? So uh, we're searching for a couple of things here in the node filter. Um, and this is because I want it to show at a very specific time. Okay, so we're searching for basically um, whether the time block is not set or the time block is set to 
one of the time blocks that this is not. Okay, so if the time block is morning, afternoon, evening, or if it's not set, this first thing button shows up. We also want to show up only when a task is not done. And then we want it to only show up if the event time is today or tomorrow, okay? And that is because sometimes I plan today, but sometimes I also plan tomorrow. Um, and then basically the actual command is we wanna set a field value, time block first thing. And all of them work exactly the same way, except that the field value is set to either first thing, morning, afternoon, or evening. And that is it. That's my Sansama inspired daily planning routine. Four simple steps, four simple searches that bring everything in that you need and you can get your day planned in five minutes or less really, really easily. So I hope I've inspired you to set up a daily planning routine that can help you create a realistic and intentional plan for your days. And now you know how to plan your day, you might also like this next video on how I plan my week in 10 minutes or less in Tana. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe if you like Tana and you want more great videos like this in your feed every week.